This lecture is the first part of MOSFET solved problems. In the last few lectures, we completed everything related to construction, working and characteristics of enhancement type MOSFET and depletion type MOSFET. Now in this presentation, we will solve one numerical problem which is based on both enhancement and depletion type MOSFETs. Let's read the problem first. Does the current of an enhancement type MOSFET increases at the same rate as a depletion type MOSFET for the conduction region? Does the current, the current is the drain current ID of an enhancement type MOSFET, the current ID of an enhancement type MOSFET increases at the same rate as a depletion type MOSFET. So we are comparing the drain current in case of enhancement type MOSFET to the drain current in case of depletion type MOSFET for the conduction region. And we have to tell whether these two currents are increasing at the same rate or not. The conduction region is the saturation region. In saturation region, the device is on and we already know the equation of drain current in both the cases, in case of enhancement type MOSFET and in case of depletion type MOSFET. And we will use these equations to find the solution of this problem. So let's move to the solution. I will make two columns. The first column is for enhancement type MOSFET, enhancement type MOSFET and the second column is for depletion type MOSFET, depletion type MOSFET. The drain current in case of enhancement type MOSFET is given by is given by ID equal to constant K inside the bracket voltage VGS gate to source voltage minus VT the threshold voltage whole square. This is the equation for the drain current in case of enhancement type MOSFET and in case of depletion type MOSFET the equation is same as the equation in case of junction field effect transistor current ID is equal to IDSS inside the bracket 1 minus voltage VGS divided by voltage VP the pinch of voltage whole square. So this is the equation of drain current in case of depletion type MOSFET and now to find out the rate the rate of change of the drain current we will differentiate the drain current with respect to voltage VGS. We will perform the differentiation of drain current ID with respect to voltage VGS in both the cases in case of enhancement type MOSFET as well as in case of depletion type MOSFET. But before performing the differentiation we will first find out what are the constant terms the constant terms in these two equations. In this equation there are two constant terms K and VT. K is a constant and also VT which is the threshold voltage. In this equation also there are two constant terms IDSS and VP. IDSS is the saturated drain current and VP is the pinch of voltage. Now we have the knowledge of constant terms and we can easily differentiate the two equations. We will first differentiate the equation in case of enhancement type MOSFET. We will differentiate this equation with respect to VGS. On the left hand side we will have DID over DVGS and on the right hand side we will have differentiation of K inside the bracket VGS minus VT whole square with respect to VGS. K is a constant so we can take it out. K is a constant so we will write the right hand side as K differentiation of VGS minus VT square with respect to voltage VGS. And let's say VGS minus VT 
is equal to t let's say vgs minus vt is equal to t so we have differentiation of t square with respect to vgs where t square is the function of vgs if you remember the laws of differentiation you can easily differentiate t square with respect to vgs it is equal to it is equal to 2t dt over d vgs where t is equal to vgs minus vt so we can write the right hand side as 2kt as 2kt differentiation of t with respect to voltage vgs where t is equal to vgs minus vt so we have 2k inside the bracket vgs minus vt differentiation of vgs minus vt with respect to voltage vgs differentiation of vgs minus vt with respect to vgs is equal to 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1 so the final result is 2k inside the bracket vgs minus vt and on the left hand side we have did over d vgs this is the final result and we will compare this result once we have the final result in case of depletion type mosfet so let's begin our differentiation in case of depletion type mosfet we will differentiate this equation with respect to vgs so on left hand side we have d i d over d vgs and on the right hand side we have i d s s which is constant differentiation of 1 minus vgs by vp whole square with respect to voltage vgs let's say 1 minus vgs by vp is equal to is equal to s let's say it is equal to s so we have i d s s differentiation of s square with respect to vgs where s is the function of voltage vgs so we have 2 i d s s s differentiation of s with respect to voltage vgs s is equal to 1 minus vgs by vp so we can write twice of i d s s s instead of writing s now i will write 1 minus vgs by vp 1 minus vgs by vp and then differentiation of 1 minus vgs by vp with respect to voltage vgs 1 minus vgs by vp when you differentiate with respect to vgs will give you 0 minus 1 by vp this is what we have after performing the differentiation so the final result is equal to twice of i dss divided by vp square the pinch of voltage inside the bracket vgs minus vp this is the final result and on the left hand side we have differentiation of drain current id with respect to voltage vgs now we will compare the two results we will compare the two results to find out the answer of this problem in the first result you can clearly see 2k is a constant 2k is a constant and also vt is a constant so we have constant inside the bracket vgs minus constant in this case 2i dss over vp square is a constant it is constant because i dss is constant and vp is constant vgs minus vp is there inside the bracket in which vp is a constant so we have we have constant inside the bracket vgs minus constant so the right hand side is same in both the cases therefore for both the devices the drain current will increase at about the same rate the rate at which the drain current increases in case of depletion type MOSFET 
is same as the rate at which the drain current increases in case of enhancement type MOSFET. So this is the answer of this question. I hope the solution is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. The differentiation part, you already know how to perform. So there was nothing special to explain in this problem. The important thing was the comparison. In the next lecture, we will solve two more examples. So this is all. See you in the next one.